when I um, first walked into the, these rooms, the thing that I noticed first was the people. You know, that met me at the door, that I saw, you know, sitting down. Some people obviously, you know, had been um, around for a while. Other people maybe were just as new as I was. And what I saw was, well, I don't even know that I saw something as much as I felt something that I had um, uh, not really noticed before. And I didn't know what to call it. Um, but I knew that it felt really good. <laughs> the, there was like an openness, a generosity, uh, welcoming that, you know, just was true and, uh, an openness. And it was, it was really palpable and, uh, something that I felt pretty much really ever since. No matter what I've, I've brought to the room, and you know, in those early days, I brought a few data streams. <laughs> well, they like tagged along. They're like, we're coming. <laughs> and you know, they were, they were uncomfortable, but I always felt welcome. I always, uh, um, you know, really luxuriated in the, um, the field, in the field, and um, I, I saw over time that there was really very little, if anything at all, to do to put that into place. And I, I found this from my own experience, you know, of really letting things be as they were, you know, whatever. Um, any of the data streams and, and just really seen uh, from personal experience that, and direct experience, that this openness was, was always there. Now, I remember in the beginning, you know, it was like, there was lots of, of talk about um, relaxing and, and that was like not something that I was used to. I was used to like clenching and holding on and striving and, and all of those kind of things. I mean, I thought, that's, I thought that's how you progressed in life. I thought that's how you, you know, got something done. And um, really to notice that this openness, moment by moment, with whatever was arising, was you know, far beyond any of my striving was way more effective than any of my striving and in ways that I just, you know, didn't really even, couldn't have uh, um, guessed. So, and, you know, as time went on and just being willing to, to just show up again and again in this beautiful field that never left, never was anything other than this wide open, expansive, beneficial field, um, as exemplified by our incredible root trainer. And, you know, just being open to that more and more and more, and just as I could. You know, and a lot of it was, you know, just being open with myself, with, you know, whatever was arising in myself and my critical voice or, you know, whatever. And, you know, I couldn't relax with that, but I could be open with it for a short moment at a time. You know, just again and again and again and, and really, you know, just really lightening up. In, in a way that had been, you know, kept so tight and uh, so judgmental and, you know, that type of thing. But, you know, just, you know, and so I, I found that, you know, really a tremendous freedom that I didn't have to be a certain way. I didn't have to, you know, and the whole I thing, 
just kind of relaxed, it kind of spontaneously released. And then there might be some, some kind of, of, of data stream that arose and, you know, just the openness became the, the go-to. And it was the go-to because it was already there. And it, it was just, you know, it's just amazing to have that uh, really modeled from the first moment of, of coming into these rooms. Um, really for me, you know, of even going to the website the very first time. You know, just something just released, relaxed, <laughs> spontaneously. Not me trying to make it relax, but just spontaneously relaxed and, and just being willing, openness again and again and again. And so it's really amazing to see all kinds of data streams that before, like overwhelm or, or um, a personal identity, a self-identity, uh, you know, what I need to accomplish and, you know, all of those kind of things, that the go-to is openness. And it's not going to openness so I can get rid of those other things. It's like just openness itself, which all of these, all of these data streams arising are completely inseparable from. And just seeing the, the results of, of, you know, way better than anything that I could have made up or imagined just coming forth naturally um, and, and really seeing gifts, strengths, and talents that, you know, just like pop up out of nowhere, you know, when we're not controlling, not striving, just open with whatever's happening. It's, it's, uh, it is, it's like the easiest thing ever, which is like such good news because it seemed like it was such hard work before. You know, just, and so there's like this complete ease with uh, any circumstance, any data stream. And, you know, whether, whether it's our own, someone else's, I mean, it makes it way easier, I'm not saying pleasant, but way easier to, you know, get all those notifications on my phone, you know, what's happening, you know, reading the internet, reading, you know, the news of the day, and you just, there's a immensity that is, uh, you know, that just is the way we are. It is just what we are. And the solutions that arise are, are you know, just openly coming forth, spontaneously coming forth. And again, it's like just it's such a relief not to have to try to put these into form. Come up with some idea of, you know, what this needs to look like, what that needs to look like. It's just openness again and again and again and again. And it is, it is, it's how we notice anything. It's how we notice an idea of ourselves. Is that openness itself. And so just this slight shift, you know, just with that the introduction explodes, the slight shift that the introduction to open intelligence explodes and, and the, the mainstays just expound is uh, life-changing, game-changing, and, uh, you know, I just can't believe that that we're all so lucky that, that, and that luck really is in the openness, in our openness. That's how we notice. That's, and so 
the ideas of what we need to do, how we need to be, really are opened up for, you know, whatever pivot that might show up around any kind of corner. You know, whatever we thought we needed to do, it just, it, it is uh, subsumed in openness itself. And we're there and available and ready.